Hi, my name's Ashley Jessen from LearnCFDs.com and today what I want to talk about is the margin required when trading CFDs. So let's go through the various products that you have available. Obviously, Share CFDs is a huge one. A lot of people trade Share CFDs on the global markets and pretty much all CFD brokers start their margins at 5%. Some go down as low as 3% for maybe the top five stocks or 10 stocks on the, on the market for that exchange, such as the ASX or something like that. But generally speaking, margins start at 5% and they scale up from there depending on the liquidity of the stock and the amount of stock that's available. So some of them you might get access to the CFD, you can trade it, but you might actually need 70 or 100% margin. So it's just like trading, if you're at 100% margin, it's just like trading a normal share trading account, except you have to pay overnight finance on that. So in regards to the margins on shares, they do start at 5%, they go to 10, 15, 20%, and they generally have a sliding scale. The lower the liquidity of the stock, the higher the margin that you'll require up front as a general rule. Now, if you're looking to trade indices, indices are usually at half a percent. So if you're trading the FTSE, the S&P 500, the Aussie 200 index, the Straight Times Index or DAX, the Germany's DAX index, such a volatile index, then generally speaking, you need half a percent. Very similar to foreign exchange, the margins required on foreign exchange can get as low as a quarter of a percent, but generally speaking, you're looking at a half a percent margin with some of them going at 0.7, maybe even up to 1%, for those exotic pairs and maybe even higher, as high as 2%. The other thing you need to be wary of with the margin is that during volatile times like the Brexit uh, and during big announcements that are coming up, the Trump election, a lot of brokers actually raise their margins on that, which put a few people in a difficult position because they use so much of their margin, they tie so much of it up in order to access so much leverage on their account. So you do need to be aware of that. You need to make sure your emails are turned on from your broker, especially around volatile times that they know are coming up, something like the Brexit or a, a US presidential election, of course. Now, the other one is commodities. Commodities, the, the margin required on commodities is generally 1% across the board. Sometimes it can get a little bit lower, maybe 0.7%, and sometimes a bit higher depending on the actual commodity. But if you're trading precious metals like gold and silver, and the big ones, crude oil, then generally speaking, you'll only require 1% margin up front. So 1% margin, to put it in perspective, $1,000 will control $100,000 worth of that, not that you need to trade at such ridiculous levels of leverage there. So hopefully that paints a picture of the types of margins required across the uh, products and the instruments that you can trade with your CFD broker. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel, that'll be fantastic. And feel free to download one of the guides on the site by clicking the links on this page here. And of course, all the best with your trading.